Giorgio de Carico was an Italian artist. In the years before World War I, he founded the Scuola Metafisica art movement, which profoundly influenced the Surrealists. After 1919, he became interested in traditional painting techniques, and worked in a neoclassical or neo-baroque style, while frequently revisiting the metaphysical themes of his earlier work. Life and Works De Carico was born in Velos, Greece, to a Genoan mother and a Sicilian father. After studying art in Athens, Euro mainly under the guidance of the influential Greek painters Giorgios Roilos and Giorgios Jacobo Deza Euro, and Florence, he moved to Germany in 1906, following his father's death in 1905. He entered the Academy of Fine Arts in Munich, where he read the writings of the philosophers Nietzsche, Arthur Schopenhauer and Otto Weininger and also studied the works of Arnold Barr Paragraph C.K.L.I.N. and Max Klinger. He returned to Italy in the summer of 1909 and spent six months in Milan. At the beginning of 1910, he moved to Florence where he painted the first of his metaphysical town square series, The Enigma of an Autumn Afternoon, after the revelation he felt in Piazza Santa Croce. He also painted The Enigma of the Oracle while in Florence. In July 1911 he spent a few days in Turin on his way to Paris. De Carico was profoundly moved by what he called the metaphysical aspect of Turin, especially the architecture of its archways and piazzas. De Carico moved to Paris in July 1911, where he joined his brother Andrea. Through his brother he met Pierre Laprade, a member of the jury at the Salon d'Autumn, where he exhibited three of his works, Enigma of the Oracle, Enigma of an Afternoon and Self-Portrait. During 1913 he exhibited paintings at the Salon des Indes de Copyright Pendants and Salon d'Art Euro Unregistered Trademark Autumn. His work was noticed by Pablo Picasso and Guillaume Apollinaire, and he sold his first painting, The Red Tower. In 1914, through Apollinaire, he met the art dealer Paul Guillaume, with whom he signed a contract for his artistic output. At the outbreak of World War I, he returned to Italy. Upon his arrival in May 1915, he enlisted in the army, but he was considered unfit for work and assigned to the hospital at Ferrara. He continued to paint, and in 1918, he transferred to Rome. Starting from 1918, his work was exhibited extensively in Europe. De Carico is best known for the paintings he produced between 1909 and 1919, his metaphysical period, which are characterized by haunted, brooding moods evoked by their images. At the start of this period, his subjects were still cityscapes inspired by the bright daylight of Mediterranean cities, but gradually he turned his attention to studies of cluttered storerooms, sometimes inhabited by mannequin-like hybrid figures. In autumn, 1919, De Carico published an article in Valerie Plastica entitled The Return of Craftsmanship, in which he advocated a return to traditional methods and iconography. This article heralded an abrupt change in his artistic orientation, as he adopted a classicizing manner inspired by such old masters as Raphael and Signorelli, and became an outspoken opponent of modern art. In the early 1920s, the surrealist writer and copyright Breton discovered one of de Carico's metaphysical paintings on display in Guillaume's Paris gallery, and was enthralled. Numerous young artists who were similarly affected by de Carico's imagery became the core of the Paris Surrealist group centered around Breton. In 1924 de Carico visited Paris and was accepted into the group, although the Surrealists were severely critical of his post-metaphysical work. De Carico met and married his first wife, the Russian ballerina Ressa Gurievich in 1925, and together they moved to Paris. His relationship with the Surrealists grew increasingly contentious, as they publicly disparaged his new work. By 1926 he had come to regard them as cretinous and hostile. They soon parted ways in acrimony. In 1928 he held his first exhibition in New York City and shortly afterwards, London. He wrote essays on art and other subjects, and in 1929 published a novel entitled Heap de Miros, The Metaphysician. In 1930, de Carico met his second wife, Isabella Paxafar, a Russian, with whom he would remain for the rest of his life. Together they moved to Italy in 1932, 
finally settling in Rome in 1944. In 1948 he bought a house near the Spanish Steps which is now a museum dedicated to his work. In 1939, he adopted a neo-baroque style influenced by Rubens. De Carrico's later paintings never received the same critical praise as did those from his metaphysical period. He resented this, as he thought his later work was better and more mature. He nevertheless produced backdated self-forgeries, both to profit from his earlier success, and as an act of revenge a Euro retribution for the critical preference for his early work. He also denounced many paintings attributed to him in public and private collections as forgeries. He remained extremely prolific even as he approached his 90th year. In 1974 he was elected to the French Accade Copyright My Des Beaux Arts. He died in Rome on November 20, 1978. His brother, Andrea de Carrico, who became famous as Alberto Savinio, was also a writer and a painter. Legacy De Carrico won praise for his work almost immediately from the writer Guillaume Apollinaire, who helped to introduce his work to the later Surrealists. De Carrico strongly influenced the Surrealist movement. Yves Tanguy wrote how one day in 1922 he saw one of De Carrico's paintings in an art dealer's window, and was so impressed by it he resolved on the spot to become an artist a Euro although he had never even held a brush. Other Surrealists who acknowledged De Carrico's influence include Max Ernst, Salvador Dalla, and Rina Copyright Magritte. Other artists as diverse as Giorgio Morandi, Carlo Carra, Paul Delvaux, Kale Willink, Hayukoga and Philip Guston were influenced by De Carrico. De Carrico's style has influenced several filmmakers, particularly in the 1950s through 1970s. The visual style of the French animated movie Le Roi et Loiseau, by Paul Grimalt and Jacques Pra Copyright Vert, was influenced by de Carrico's work, primarily via Tanguy, a friend of Pra copyright Vert. The visual style of Valerio Zerlini's film The Desert of the Tartars was influenced by de Carrico's work. Michelangelo Antonioni, the Italian film director, also claimed to be influenced by de Carrico. Some comparison can be made to the long takes in Antonioni's films from the 1960s in which the camera continues to linger on desolate cityscapes populated by a few distant figures, or none at all, in the absence of the film's protagonists. Writers who have appreciated De Carrico include John Ashbury, who has called Ibe de Miras probably the finest, major work of surrealist fiction. Several of Sylvia Plath's poems are influenced by De Carrico. In his book Blizzard of One Mark Strand included a poetic diptych called Two De Carricos. The Philosopher's Conquest, and The Disquieting Muses. The box art for Fumito Ueda's PlayStation 2 game Ico used in Japan and Europe was strongly influenced by De Carrico. The cover art of New Order's single Thieves Like Us is based on De Carrico's painting The Evil Genius of a King. Style In the paintings of his metaphysical period, De Carrico developed a repertoire of motifs a Euro empty arcades, towers, elongated shadows, mannequins, and trains among a thirsa euro that he arranged to create images of forlornness and emptiness that paradoxically also convey a feeling of power and freedom. According to Sanford Schwartz, de Chirico Euro, whose father was a railroad engineer a euro painted images that suggest the way you take in buildings and vistas from the perspective of a train window. His towers, walls, and plazas seem to flash by, and you are made to feel the power that comes from seeing things that way you feel you know them more intimately than the people do who live with them day by day. In 1982, Robert Hughes wrote that de Carrico could condense voluminous feeling through metaphor and association. In The Joy of Return, 1915, de Carrico's train has once more entered the city. A bright ball of vapor hovers directly above its smokestack. Perhaps it comes from the train and is near us. Or possibly it is a cloud on the horizon lit by the sun that never penetrates the buildings, in the last electric blue silence of dusk. It contracts the near and the far, enchanting one's sense of space. Early de Carricos are full of such effects. A quid a marbo nisi quod enigmalist? A euro this question, inscribed by the young artist on his self-portrait in 1911, is their subtext. In this, 
he resembles his more representational American contemporary, Edward Hopper, their pictures low sunlight, their deep and often irrational shadows, their empty walkways and portentous silences creating an enigmatic visual poetry. Selected Works Flight of the Century, Enigma of an Autumn Afternoon and Enigma of the Oracle, Ritratto di Andrea di Carico, Enigma of the Hour, The Nostalgia of the Infinite, or 1912-1913, Melanconia, The Enigma of the Arrival and La Martina Copyright Ian Goisanti, The Red Tower, Ariadne, The Awakening of Ariadne, The Uncertainty of the Poet, La Statua Silenciosa, The Anxious Journey, Melancholy of a Beautiful Day, Le Rave Transformer Copyright, and Self-Portrait, The Anguish of Departure, Portrait of Guillaume Apollinaire, The Nostalgia of the Poet, L.A. Permel Nigme de la Fatalita Copyright, Germund Parnas, The Song of Love, The Enigma of a Day, The Philosophera Euro Unregistered Trademark S. Conquest, The Child's Brain, The Philosopher and the Poet, Still Life, Turin in Spring, Piazza da Euro Unregistered Trademark Italia, and Melancholy and Mystery of a Street, The Evil Genius of a King, The Seer, Piazza da Euro Unregistered Trademark Italia, The Double Dream of Spring, The Purity of a Dream, Two Sisters in the Duo, Andromache, The Melancholy of Departure, The Disquieting Muses, Metaphysical Interior with Biscuits, Metaphysical Interior with Large Factory and the Faithful Servitor, The Great Metaphysician, Ettore Andromache, Metaphysical Interior, Geometric Composition with Landscape and Factory and Great Metaphysical Interior, Metaphysical Muses and Hermetic Melancholy, Still Life with Salami and the Sacred Fish, Self-Portrait. Italian Piazza, Mascia and Departure of the Argonauts, The Prodigal Son, Florentine Still Life, The House with the Green Shutters, The Great Machine Honolulu Museum of Art, or Bord de la Mer, Le Grand Automate, The Terrible Games, Mannequins on the Seashore and the Painter, La Commedia e la Tragedia, The Painter a Euro Unregistered Trademark as Family in Cupboards in a Valley. La Euro Unregistered Trademark Esprit de Domination, The Eventuality of Destiny, Mobile Nella Vall and the Archaeologists, Temple A Forati dans la Chambre, Gladiatory, The Archaeologists for The Return of the Prodigal Son Ian Bagnanti, I. For Kai Sacri 1929, Illustrations from the book Calligrams by Guillaume Apollinaire 1 Gladiatory, Milan Cathedral, 1932, Cavallo Zaberamar, Cavalli in Riva Almer, La Vasca di Barnai Mistriosi, The Vexations of the Thinker, Self-Portrait, Archaeology, Illustrations from the book La Euro Unregistered Trademark Apocalypse, Portrait of Clarice Lispector, Villa Medici, Temple and Statue, Minerva, Metaphysical Interior with Workshop, Fiat, Piazza da Euro Unregistered Trademark Italia, The Fall, Via Crucis, Venezia, Isola di San Giorgio, Salamba squared suum cavallo impennato, metaphysical interior with biscuits, piazza da euro unregistered trademark italia, cornipedes, la mia mano. Sinistra Chianciano Art Museum, Manuscino, Ettore Andromica, The Return of Ulysses, Interno Metafisico Commudo Anatomico and Mysterious Baths, Flight Toward the Sea, Il Rimorso di Arrest. La Bico Invincibile and Solitude in Della Gente di Secco, Orfeo Trovato Stanco, Intero Metafisico and Muse with Broken Column, Metaphysical Interior with Setting Sun, Sol Sul Cavalletto, Mobile I.E. Rocks in Unistanza, La Mattina I. Barnai Mistriosi, Piazza d'Italia Com Statue Requesta, La Mattina I. Barnai Mistriosi and Ettore Andromica, Pianto da Euro Unregistered Trademark Amore. Ettore Andromica and the Salos a Euro Unregistered Trademark Barracks. Works about, Enigma Estate a Euro 1990 film, Giorgio de Carico, Argonaut of the Soul a Euro 2010 documentary film. Notes, his surname is traditionally written de Carico when it stands alone. References. Further reading, Baldacci, Paolo and Figillo della Euro Unregistered Trademark Arco, Maurizio. Giorgio di Carico Parigi 1924-1930, Galeria Philippe de Verio, Milano, Brandani, Edato, di Genova, Giorgio, Bonflieri, Patrizia, Giorgio di Carico, 
Catalogo dell'Oprogfica 1969-1977, Edizioni Bora, Bologna, Cavalsi, Maurizio, and Mori, Gia, De Carico, Giunti Editor, Firenze 1988, Pagillo della Euro Unregistered Trademark Arco, Maurizio, L'Opera Completa di De Carico 1908-1924, Rizzoli, Milano 1984, Pagillo della Euro Unregistered Trademark Arco, Maurizio, Giorgio De Carico Cart, Extra Moenio Art. Moderna, Todi, Pagillo della Euro Unregistered Trademark Arco, Maurizio, and Cavallo, Luigi, De Carico. Disafnia Nidity, Edizioni Grafiche Tega, Milano, Jim Ferrer, Per, De Carico, 1888-1978, Opercelt, Rizzoli, Milano, Mori, Gia, De Carico Metafisico, Giunti, Firenze, Pontiglia, Elena, and Gazzanio, Giovanni, Giorgio De Carico. La Euro Unregistered Trademark Apocalis e la Luce, Silvana Editriel, Sinicello Balsamo. External links, Giorgio De Carico at MoMA, Biography and Image Gallery, Giorgio De Carico, Metaphysical Perspective.